A few videos back, I shared with all of you a little bit of chaos that occurred when my 2 terabyte external hard drive crashed. Well, today we're going to compare it to its replacement. But before we get into all that, I'd like to say, Welcome to Chaos Control with Kate Bonney. I'm your host, Kate Bonney, and thank you for joining me today. As you can see, I have a somnambulist... Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Somnambulist 2 terabyte hard drive in my hand. On one side, it has the word somnambulist. On the other side, well, it has nothing. There's no labels, no markings, nothing. Now, when I first got this hard drive, I didn't think much of it. But then, when I received the replacement, I noticed that something is missing. All electronics intended for sale within the United States of America must have an FCC label on them. This led me to believe that this might just be a counterfeit hard drive. You see, I've bought Somnambulist products in the past, and they worked quite well. I believe I had a Somnambulist MP3 player back in the day. But this, something didn't sit right. So I decided to do a bit of a web search. And as you can see through this web search, I found several examples of Somnambulist items that do in fact have the FCC label on them. However, all of these hard drives have a different connector. They have to sit in a specialized dock. They do not use a cable to connect. All of the Somnambulist external hard drives with the FCC label intended for sale within the United States of America use the specialized dock. As I continued, I started watching a few other YouTube videos reviewing products that looked very similar to the one I purchased. Now, all of these videos were in foreign languages, meaning their products would not have the FCC label on them. However, I wanted to see if they were receiving the same product I did. The first thing I noticed in this video is that this person's unit came in a hard case that was labeled Somnambulist, but the unit they received did not have the name Somnambulist on it anywhere. All it had was a marking indicating the disk capacity. The absence of the Somnambulist name on this unit confirms my suspicions that counterfeit units are being sold. When I clicked on this video, it started with some technical graphs. Then it went on to feature stills of several Somnambulist products, but never showed an actual person manipulating or working with them. I did pick up on this unit. The previous still featured a somnambulist case. Once again, this unit does not show the somnambulist name. It also uses a C-type connection cable. All portable hard drives that I have seen use a specialized USB cable, not a C-type, leading me to believe that this is also a counterfeit product. Returning to my comparison, the Somnambulist 2 terabyte hard drive that died on me was very lightweight, the plastic casing seemed cheaply made, and it came with a relatively short USB connecting cable. In comparison, I replaced it with a 4 terabyte Toshiba, a name brand that we should all recognize. The Toshiba weighs significantly more. It does have double the capacity, but in modern electronics, that should not account for very much weight. The plastic feels sturdier, and the USB connector cable is significantly longer. And of course, we cannot forget that when I connect the Somnambulist to my computer, nothing happens. My computer no longer recognizes it, which pretty much turned it into a paperweight. 
This is after using the Somnambulist for approximately two weeks. When I remove it from my computer and give it a little shake, I can hear something rattling around in there, and that is not supposed to happen. On the other hand, when I connected the Toshiba, my computer immediately recognized the drive. So I will keep the Somnambulist hard case and store the Toshiba in it. I'll also keep the spare cable. Now let's look at a price comparison. I purchased the Somnambulist from Amazon. The list price was $54.59. They did not offer a protection plan. That should have been a red flag. The Toshiba was purchased from a Walmart pro seller and the order was fulfilled by Walmart. The purchase price was $94.99 and they offered an $11 three-year protection plan, which naturally I did purchase. The first time I connected the Toshiba to my computer, the only item on the drive was an HTML document stating a one-year limited manufacturer warranty. This means I actually have four years of protection on the device. So once you consider the price of the Toshiba and the extended warranty, I now have twice the storage space for roughly twice the price, and I will have coverage for four years. I will not be returning the Somnambulist to Amazon because Amazon wants it shipped back in the original packaging. Well, the original packaging was the hard case stuck in a bubble mailer and dropped off on my front porch. The bubble mailer was immediately thrown away. Since I won't be returning it, let's destroy it. I decided to break into it to try to determine what piece broke loose and caused it to stop working. Being a leather crafter, I keep scalpels on hand. Sometimes they're handy when working with leather crafts. Well, the scalpel blade broke, so I came at it with a pair of hemostats or clamps, and I could not get a grip on it, so I had to go find my trusty old pocket knife. Once opened, it looked like a solid state hard drive on initial inspection. Once I removed the components from the casing and looked at the underside, it was clear that this is not a solid state external hard drive. It is 100% chip driven. And the little rattling I heard was the fan motor that keeps the chips from overheating had broken loose from its attachment point. Without a fan to keep the interior cool, well, the chips overheated and the data became corrupted. There was no way to recover this device, no way to recover the data. Since I can't return it, and I can't fix it, let's go smash it. Doc Dillinger assisted with this portion by wielding the sledgehammer. Here we are at the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, ring that subscribe bell, comment down below, tell me what I did right, tell me what I did wrong, tell me what you want to see from this channel, and remember to share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for joining me today, 
and I will see you next time.